Today, the Premier got in the game, speaking on the possible NHL return to the city and the financial assistance the province may be ready and willing to cough up. Well, uh, as you know, uh, the, uh, there is some discussion going on between True North and the Chipmans and uh, the NHL, and uh, we want them to focus on that while we focus on the uh, flood and protecting people in Manitoba. But we've, uh, from the very early days, as you know, we helped them uh, with their new downtown facility, which we think is serving the public very well, provides a lot of uh, economic uh, growth in Winnipeg. It's got uh, a community use agreement that supports the public. So we're focused on public benefits and public protection right now. We'll let the uh, owners of True North work out what they can on the NHL franchise. Uh, but we've always played a very important role in helping them get the new multi-use facility built. And that has made a huge difference. We were with them from day one against enormous resistance, as you'll recall, Jeff. People thought uh, the opposition in particular was 100% opposed to doing that. It's made a huge difference in Winnipeg. And uh, any future decisions will be made in a way that serves the public interest in Manitoba. So what, what about debt management? Like what would you pay for? So what, I understand that the... You know what, I, we're, we're, not spec some. we're not doing any speculation right now. Our focus is on the flood, protecting Manitobans right now from this flood situation. Let the Chipmans and True North work out what they can with the NHL. We've been in close touch with them all the way along the way. Uh, we're working closely with them, but it's their lead on that. Uh, when something gets nailed down, uh, we'll look at what we can do with them to make sure it's a, a success. True North Sports and Entertainment is currently in talks to buy the Atlanta Thrashers. From the Winnipeg Press News Cafe, I'm Tanya Kohut.